Hey yo, what is going on, bro? Once again, bros, women, bronies, and Pegasus from Takazuki Komodos. This is the one, the only course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. Of course, you guys are rested intros and outros towards this channel. And before I begin, real quick, <laughs> man, my fucking god, it's been almost six, maybe seven something months since I had this, but. If any people have ever tried Mountain Dew Pitch Black Edition, I've tried it maybe one time ever. I think it was like 2014 or 15 when it came out, so about two and a half, three, three and a half years ago at the most. Uh, you gotta try this motherfucker out. I haven't tried this in almost six, seven months. I totally forgot they were making these because I was kind of taking a break, maybe a month or two break off of um, drinking pops and sodas and energy drinks and shit. But then I kind of got back into it. So, <laughs> oh my god. Mountain Dew, I'm not, I swear to God, I'm not sponsoring them. I'm not being paid to say this or any of that shit, fucking bullshit. But um, Mountain Dew Black Label, I've tried this one before. It's kind of like, I don't know what it is, but it's kind of like if Starbucks, like, made something with Monster. And I think they, I think one time a couple of years back, I don't know, it was 2010, 2011, uh, like six, seven, eight, maybe eight years ago at the most, they made a Starbucks drink with Monster once. I think it was like Starbucks Monster Edition, sponsored with um, Starbucks. I did think they did it one time. It's almost like that flavor, but way, way fucking better. A billion times better than whatever Monsters make it. I'm just saying. Many people are fans of the energy drink, energy drink from Monster. I'm sorry, but this shit's a tad bit more fucking badass compared to the other thing. I highly suggest you drink this out. Drink the hell out of it because it's absolutely amazing. Unless any people, you know... You're not really big into like soda pops or energy drinks, so you probably won't care about it too much. I mean, uh, I'm not real big into like pops and like sodas that much anymore either. I usually drink like an energy drink once in a while. I don't drink them frequently or every single time whenever you see me do a video. You'll usually either see me drink either in Arizona or fucking Powerade most of the time. But other than that, you usually don't drink, see me drinking too many energy drinks like you used to. Because I remember when I started my Criticism Guy channel, I did a hell of a lot more. Um, I didn't sponsor them or anything, but I just used to say, Oh yeah, this video is sponsored by fucking Monster. When I did my rants and discussions, and my outdoor rants. Uh, yeah, that was a while ago. It was like eight, nine years ago. It was so fucking long. Man. But I don't do videos on that channel anymore. So um, if you're looking for me to do videos on there, you're out of luck. I'm sorry. But um, I'm still thinking about it. It's probably going to be February. I feel like February is, um, is going to be the month when I actually create a VidMe account. I still don't know how frequently, like... Um, active i'm gonna be on that account if i do make a vidme account because you know a lot of people are saying vidme is starting to be a little bit better than youtube and youtube starting to have a little possibly competition with vidme i doubt it because the end of the day youtube's pretty much when it comes to like social media networking and videos and all that shit and like people that do this shit for a living as a platform as a career like some of the people i'm subscribed to like three three of them i can name out the top of my head like um proto mario monday matt Etical World Network, people like that, really, really big in the thousands and hundred thousands, subscribers, viewers and up, they actually do this shit for an actual living. You know, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I, I would never be able to do YouTube for a living. I know that's a fucking fact because for them, I'm not going to say they have fake personalities and that's the reason why they get so many subscribers and so many likes on their video. Um, speaking of which, I know Monday Man, he gets a lot of hates on his videos, but sometimes he gets a lot of likes because he actually talks about real life issues and situations. And he does a little bit of video game and stuff every now and then. I mean, I don't agree with everything what what the guy says, but at the same time, I could respect respect what his um, his own little analogies and um, views of the world are compared to mine. Mine's are a lot more different compared to his. Plus, he's about 78 years old, and I think he's almost 35 or something. I'm about to be 28 in about two weeks from now. My God, <laughs> time is just going fast. I'm telling you, I only got less than two years and two weeks left until I hit the big 3-0. My God. Whew. I'm kind of not looking forward to it. But you know what? That's life. That's why, that's how this life is in this world. You're born in this world, and then you just wait until you die. That's just how life is. Yeah, and I can't do nothing to stop it. I mean, if I could be young forever, that would be cool. But, you know, that's only in um, fairy tales and movies, sadly. But um, the Fountain of Youth was real. I guarantee you I'd probably use the shit out of it. <laughs> But anyways, I don't care how old as fuck I'm going to be. I'm going to still love the same shit I'm going to love. Regardless if people or society tell me otherwise. They can go fuck themselves if they don't agree. I don't give a shit. I'm going to have my own personal viewpoints and stances on certain topics and things I love. And if people don't like it, whether they like it or not, it is what it is. I'm going to move on with my life and they should do the same likewise. Anyways, now I'm going to react to the thing I want to react to. So, 
I saw this on my um, posting, um, my YouTube like um, subscriber feed or whatever, my timeline. I don't know if they call it timeline or not, but um, screw it, tap. I'm not sure if this is going to be next week or the week after. It's probably going to be like in February when you do this. They made a little bit of a sample promo thing that they're going to end up making uh, another death battle. And they had Laura Croft in it from Tomb Raider. And this is the thing. I was never really a big fan of the whole Tomb Raider series when I was a 90s kid back in the PS1, PS2 era. Or early 2000s, we want to call it. Like, um, call it that way, too. Uh, I just... I never really had very much of a love for that game. It's because it was... At that time, when I was a 90s kid, I was... I know I know that it was a platform game, but when I was hearing a lot of reviews and looking at the magazines, because, you know, there wasn't really that much internet at the time, you could do a YouTube vlog and say a review of how you thought about this game and that game like you do nowadays. Back then, you either had to look through magazines or hear it from your friends or word of mouth, or if you had a friend that you could play their console and shit. That was the only way you were able to know how games were back in the 90s, if, if you were growing up as a kid back then. And fortunately, I didn't have that many friends, but... um. I did rent a demo of it for the first two, two um, Tomb Raider run and the second one for the PS1, PS2 games. Back when Blockbuster and Hollywood Video were a thing, before they um, shut down, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I was... I didn't really like it too much. Like, the first 10, 20... Actually, not the first, first 10. I spent a good hour or two on it trying to figure out how it was. I could not figure it out at all. Because it was one of those puzzle games that... I really hated puzzle games when I was growing up at the time. And I fucking... I did not have the patience at that time. It's because, like, where's all the action? Where's all the collectibles? Where's all the fucking, the happiness and the, what's it called? The expo exploration type of thing. Even though I had a lot of exploration, but seven, eight-year-old me at the time, I didn't give a fuck about that. I only cared about platforming games and old-school scrolling games. Like the shit Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo had back then. That's the type of game I liked back then when I was a kid. And, um... It just never really appealed to me very much. And after about an hour or two, I asked my dad when I was like still living with my parents back then to bring it back. I don't like it. Give me something different. I got pissed the fuck off. And I never want to play any Tomb Raider game ever again. That wasn't until years later. I think it was like the late 2000s, early 2010s when the PS3, PS4 era was still up. Um, I think it was like the last year or two when um, the Tomb Raider... Um, Oh, I forgot what it was. I think Tomb Raider something. I forgot the name of the fucking um, title, but... Oh, man. I played the shit out of that thing, and I, I, I fell in fucking love with it. So it wasn't until almost when the PS4 came out before PS4 Pro. We're talking about, let's see, five, six, maybe seven years ago. When I played the hell out of that, I really, really fell in love with it. I was like, man, now this is way more of a better action game than the one I played when I was a kid. <laughs> Why couldn't they have this one when I was a kid? Of course technology was wasn't the same when it came to video game with polygons and shit with the whole 3d era was just barely coming out at that time compared to now where everything's like either cgi or just face capture thing and facial recognition type of shit whenever they do video games so yeah obviously it's a lot more crispier more cleaner a lot more hd 1080p beautiful graphics nowadays that you get compared to how you did almost no, 15 20 years ago but anyways other than that, I'm going to be reacting to this. It's only 2 minutes, seven, 16 seconds, so I almost said 17 seconds. So, yeah, it's not really that long. Links in the description box down below. Anytation on the side if any of you people want to see it with me. Oh, one other thing real quick I want to get out of the way. It has nothing to do with the video at all. But if any people um, um, watch this live action show, I'm not really big in a lot of live action TV series. But there's one I like to watch. It's called The Goldbergs. I've talked about it, I think, three, maybe four years ago when they talked about the Nintendo Power Glove because it was big back in the 80s because... It's about a dude named Adam Goldberg, and he always talks about how his life was in the 80s. I actually watched this one show, this one episode of The Goldbergs. I think it was our new season for this year. It talked about um, Adam Goldberg. Like, um, <laughs> it was funny as hell. He was referring a lot to like how this movie changed his life forever. It was called The Breakfast Club. And I never actually saw that movie because obviously it was made 1985. So it was like four or five years. It came out before I was born. So I had no idea what the fuck was going on because I didn't exist. So yeah, um, I actually watched it for the first time last night, and I was like, wow, this is pretty fucking cool. So this is how teenagers and, I don't know, some college students back then would act. I mean, it's nothing as bad as compared to now, because, you know, imagine if they made, like, a remake for The Breakfast Club, I'm a modern-day version. I mean, it'll probably be super cringy and super fucking retarded and stupid as hell, but I wouldn't mind watching it. 
I honestly wouldn't to see what the cast is going to be and all that. And then you got that dude Charlie Sheen or no Emilio Estevez and that other chick. I think her name was Molly Ringwald or something. Um, to do like cameo roles, I wouldn't mind seeing a modern day remake of that. To be honest, since everything nowadays in Hollywood, it pretty much either ends up getting a remake. Or a prequel or a spin-off of a movie. Same with video games and anime and shit. You know? That's just how it is nowadays. Links in the description box down below. Like outside, like I just said. 3, 2, 1. Let's get it in. Hopefully this still works. And um, let's get into it. Alright, let's get Oh, wow. That's a lot louder than I thought. People spend their entire lives in pursuit of wealth, status, and power. But Laura ah, yeah, they're showing the original PS1, PS2. I think I already know who the bitch is going to fight. Because if any people ever heard of Mighty Raccoon, or I think it was another YouTube channel that did it. Um, I think she's going to fight that dude Nathan Drake from the Uncharted series. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Let me open up this Mountain Dew. Hopefully it doesn't spill anywhere. It's good odds that one of those is bound to go wrong. And guess what? Beautiful. Yours, Fucking love it. Recommend you buy this shit. It's amazing. Oh. Mm. It's almost like licorice and Twizzlers more too. To oh wow. The heck is that little drawing that she made? What? <laughs> what is that shit? Wow. I wonder if that was like for the PS2. I wouldn't be surprised. What kind of so animation is that? That had to be like a fan-made animation on YouTube or something. Oh yeah, it's the PS1, PS2, um, Laura Croft games. Tomb Raider. Oh, I forgot about that movie. The one with Angelina Jolie when they did the Tomb Raider movie. I seen both of them. I wasn't a really big fan of it. Because they didn't really follow the um, game very well. But still, it was okay, I guess, for as far as action purposes was. So she's basically Batman. Holy shit. With guns. Speaking of which, Lara is famous for her trademark dual Heckler and Koch pistol. But she's also Heckler and Koch. Oh, that's what they would call it. I know that. Submachine guns, even grenades, and she uses them to take down everything from. Well, I still got a bottle of water, man, just in case, or a cup of water, because sometimes I guess my throat is out. At the prehistoric penthouse. Wait, isn't it the strip club you keep trying to take me to? The dinosaur-themed <laughs> one. What? Going out to the strip club? What the fuck's wrong with you, bro? Seriously? You got little kids watching, but of course they don't give a shit. So I'm going there now. We'll do the thing about the other guy later. Fine, fine. Come back next week. Oh, yep, I knew it. She was going to fight fucking Nathan Drake. I fucking knew it. <laughs> That's crazy. I know um, if I had to pick which one I want to win... Even though, granted, I really don't give a shit about both the games too much. Well, the older Tomb Raider series, I don't really give a shit about. The newer modern day one looks a lot more badass. And I played the whole series for both of them. Absolutely beautiful, phenomenal games. The story was amazing. All the little, like, um, hints and pieces. And, you know, it's still kind of a puzzle game. It has a lot more action and a lot more um, shooting RPG type of shit. It's kind of like a, a shooter platformer type of thing. So, um, highly recommend you check that out if any people have... Um, Never played the modern day Tomb Raider series for the PS3 and PS4 games. Fucking play the hell out of them. Absolutely fucking astonishing. I love it. Anyways, um, overall thoughts and opinions. I mean, um, I'm real, real hyped looking forward to this dev battle because um, <clears throat> even on Granite, I never really cared about the first um, for the PS1, PS2 era Tomb Raider games. I'm not going to lie. Um, the newer version of Laura Croft looks fucking stunning as hell absolutely sexy hot piece of beautiful gorgeous cgi ass even though she's not real and um the the voice actress that played her fucking top notch i love it 10 out of 10 ign rating <laughs> but yeah um as far as nathan drake goes i never played any of the uncharted games um because i just never got into that type of style of game even though it is like a shooter like platformer type of game it just it never really appealed to me too much and i uh, Kind of, sort of, like, for other personal reasons, too. I'm not going to get into that because uh, I don't want to sound like a racist piece of shit or nothing. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to shut the fuck up about it. Anyways, um, so hopefully Laura Croft ends up being the winner because she's a lot more nostalgic to me compared to um, Nathan Drake. Um, pretty much for the sake of nostalgia. That's the only reason I want her to win. And, uh, yeah, that pretty much sums up. Sums it all up. Links in the description box down below. Take a shot. If any people are interested in um, watching the video on your own time, and I'm done here. 
Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and pegasus, otakus, and kikamotos. I will see you when I see you guys. A good day, have a good night, wherever you are at around the world. Don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't take them reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective out there. And until that next time, guys, peace out, ladies and goodbye. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on the channel almost every single day. Stay in the grind. Stay easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Be easy. Be you do it yourself. Stay safe, everyone. And of course, as always, stay tuned more future commentary and content on the channel, such as in vlogs. Such as Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, PC gaming news, and of course my anime and otaku related and video gaming news on that side of the room, of course. And on this side of the room, anything MLP, Pokemon related, and of course as always Marvel, DC movies, action movies, and of course, as always, um, my video game trailers and anime otaku related trailers on this side of the room for my reaction review segments. And of course, as always, my video responses and rants. Peace out, this is goodbye. I will talk to you guys next time, and um, you'll excuse me, I am going to be finishing the rest of this beautiful lovely piece of ass mountain dew black label it's 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 one of the best things that god has ever happened to her <laughs> as man has ever created peace lates and out here lates and um for all you tomato and uh, uncharted fans you guys are probably a lot more hyped about us than i am later peace